All right, I just wanted to show you guys this property here. The, the pond right there. The house is up in those, you see that hill up there? It's about 35 or 3,800 square foot home built in early 2000s. So not new, but far from old. Red brick, everything is kept perfectly like this right here. It's about 20 acres of land, a lot of pasture land too, you can tell. Flowers, it almost looks like heaven, honestly. And this is just the property, one of the properties in Arkansas. And you can have this as well, of course, in Tennessee. Uh, I would say a little bit more pricey. This property is uh, right now around half a million. So 500,000 for a huge house, everything inside and outside is kept as beautiful as the outdoor if not even better so an awesome looking house not a shack far from that and uh, this was about three hundred fifty thousand two and a half years ago when we bought a property right next to it which is right there where that big tree is or one of the big trees i mean through, through that right there and now with interest rates being up it's obviously way harder to get these at 7%, whatever the interest rates are. But a lot of people from, let's say, California, New York, other places, when they sell that, have cash options. That they can just come in and get a property like this before interest rates go even higher and land continues to skyrocket and overall real estate, right? So this is basically something that... Um, you can look into landandfarm.com. I will post the link down below. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not promoting them because uh, I get any perks from them by any means. We just use them when we bought our property. And I will post the link down below. You can take a, take a look. And yes, you won't have any cool amenities around here. You might have to drive 10, 15 minutes to get to, to, to the city, to, to a bigger town that has maybe 10,000 people at the most. But if you're working from home, you got remote options. There are always ways for people to, to get something like this instead of getting stuck in that rat race and paying $500,000 for a home that has barely room to fit your barbecue. And you got to deal with HOA and all that. There is nothing here. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm building a tennis court and I didn't have to get any approval for anything and I'm going to have lights and everything. So just letting you know, giving you an idea. Let me know what you guys think and uh, we will talk soon.